Kia ora. <laughs> Kia ora, my brother. So good to see you again. It's so good to see you again. I haven't seen you since our last night in the drum circle. Yeah, that's so <laughs> right. It's been amazing, hasn't it? Uh, what a journey uh, from beginning to where we are, and it's only been a week. Yeah, especially, you know, for Thursday today, marking the day since... Um, you know, I was getting ready for to come in with my tamariki, so I told them no school for the rest of the week on, after Wednesday night. So I brought them here for the first time after school on Wednesday, and we stayed until 10 o'clock at night. Wow. They were climbing trees and meeting friends and eating kai, and my daughter was like at the food tent. She's like, I'm at the food truck. And she was loving it. And on the way home, they said to me, Mum, when we're down there, the fe- world feels like it's normal again. And that moved me so deeply that I thought, no school for the rest of the week. Yeah. Uh, and so when we got up on Thursday morning, we were getting ready. I put on the live stream and that's when we saw the police moving in. So I called my husband, he was working locally, and said, look at what's happening. So he literally dropped all his tools, got in his van. He was here within 10 minutes to hold the line. I went and dropped the children because I didn't know how safe it would be. And I was here holding the line as well and found my natural role, as you know, playing the drum and... And I was walking along the line, looking at the police and to our uh, wahine and atane, but to the police saying, look at me, I represent your great-grandmothers, your grandmothers, your mothers, your aunties, your sisters, your cousins, your nieces, you know, your daughters and your granddaughters. Look at us. We are, I don't like the word normal, but we are your people, you know. And then for the women and for the men saying, I am here representing, I am here representing your ancestors. Hear me roar. So yeah, with Machu Tehoki, Katana, walking up and down, Katana was in the line a lot as well, sharing the cry of the mothers through the Council of the Mothers and just, um, it was such a powerful day. Can I share a beautiful story with you? Of course you can. So... I was there, I was playing my drum, and all of a sudden two um, mana wahine behind me started digging at the earth, digging, 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 and then a couple of tāne came and started helping to dig, and naturally about four tāne stood around the outside, real staunch, you know, keeping safe space, and the women were digging, and so I just I instinctively went down on my knee, drum, 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 banging the drum, and once they'd dug a hole, they pulled out a potato, put it into the earth and doing karakia, they um, planted it over. It was so powerful, Louie. Like, I was in tears, tears there. As a, and, you know, I was going to say as a Pākehā wahine, but we're letting all of that go now, yeah. you know. But for me, really, I've always had an affinity with all things Te Ao Māori and a little bit of FOMO, a little bit of, oh, you know, which, oh, you know. Uh, but I felt my Irish, my, you know, my Celtic heritage coming through, banging that drum and to be in there with these wahine, to cover it up and then they planted the big um, hefakaputanga flag over top Uh, and so later on I asked someone what was that about and they said this whole ground was tapu right and so by planting that food that kai into the earth it brings the whole whenua back to whakanoa to neutral Um, and it was so powerful and the energy moving through you know as an energetic person that works with energy the energy moving through the whenua up, up, up and out was just phenomenal. It was probably about two hours later that the police began to peel off one by one and we just took the ground back. I mean, it was, you've never experienced anything like it, just the high, the absolute, you know, connection. And then once all that transmutation began really taking place, that's when the rains came and they turned on the sprinklers which did us a favour because it cleansed us from above and from below. He rangi nui, he papa tuanuku um, coming up and through and just washing it all away. It was just so powerful. That's amazing. Um, you know, that we're able to go through what we did and just forgive and forget, eh? You know, exactly. and, and I, I like to tell people out there is that the, the police, just like every other religion, belief or race, it's just it takes a handful to ruin it for the rest, isn't it? Absolutely. There's always a bad egg, as they say, anywhere. You know, you work at New World, there's probably going to be a butcher that's a bit of a dick or, you know, one of the teachers at school that's a bit nasty or got a bit of an ego. But um, it's only been one or two of them. Honestly, I had police officers crying, holding the line, and I wasn't being nasty. You know, there's so much further back now. People that are just coming in now really um, 
they would have seen it online, but a sense of the presence, you know, they were really, they did this push and none of them wanted to be doing it. So we were holding the line and then all of a sudden they did this movement and we were like, go, go, go. We ran down and they started trying to pinch tents. It was just like a strategic move. It was so silly. And we just formed this line. I was actually live streaming it. Um, we formed this line and we were going, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is our land. Only about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I think they peeled off again, you know. So really the big physical battle was won on Thursday, I feel. And I know there's some people, you know, there's been some people saying, oh, the army's coming. And I've got another good story. So I was out at the food tent and someone said to me, oh, what did they say? Oh, they've blocked off the motorways, they said. They've blocked off the motorways. No one can come in. So I came in I saw this beautiful mana wahine. And I said, Kelda. She said, Kelda. And I said, I've heard they're blocked off the motorway. She said, Stop. She gave me a growling. It was an old kuya. And she said, Stop. And I went, Whoop. You know, I fully got told off. I started crying straight away like a little kid getting growled at. And she said, We don't spread that. They're going to do what they're going to do. And we're going to do what we're going to do. Don't say that to anyone else. And I didn't. And then from then, when people have said to me, Oh, the army are coming, I say, Stop. That's not the corridor for here. So I said in one of my live videos that, you know, when you come through the gates here, you're actually stepping through an energetic portal. This is sacred space. Leave whatever doesn't need to come with you outside, but bring us your pain. You know, bring us your anger, bring us your sacred rage. There are healers everywhere who are there to help you transmute that. The only thing you really need to leave at the gate is fear, okay? leave your fear outside because there's no room for fear bring everything else bring all of you but just leave that fear at the gate so if I know those of you that are coming down that haven't come down I really do recommend before you get to that gate just think of yourself walking through a real energetic gateway you feel it already when you're coming up the street but really at the gates take a deep breath in breathe out connect to your power your manawa connect to your heart and then come through the gate and if you've got sacred rage you know there's anger right but sacred rage is when our boundaries are crossed. You know, it's the, ch um, the chant that I channeled. I did some last night. I did the full one. Two more verses came through this morning. You know, our boundary has been crossed. So for some people, it was a vaccine at all. For some people, it was a mandate, right? But for everyone, when it came to our tamariki, that's when it's too far. No more, you know? So that brings up sacred rage, really different to anger. Sacred rage is a signpost. Our boundary has been crossed. Enough is enough, you know? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. Mm. Thanks, Louis. Of course, you know it. Awesome. Thanks, Gaby. Yeah. What's up, I'm Charles. I'm Lingaloo.